Hi, what's up? Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jack. I'm Zach. I'm Ryan Dawson, the drummer. I'm Alex from All Time Low. All Time Low. All Time Low. Hello. And you are about to watch us live here on Rock Sound TV. Taking the stage is one of the biggest and best moments of any any show, especially when you're talking about festivals and, and just larger shows in general. You kind of walk out and immediately you're hit. It's like a wave of heat and sweat that's already emanating from the crowd. And then, you know, then the scream and then the energy and then the crowd starts moving like the sea. And it just, that energy fuels you. Like even, you might, however excited you are before you go on stage, the second you hit the stage, everything just kind of clicks. And suddenly that bond is there between you and the audience. And I think that's the most overwhelming moment. Forget about it, which actually was a massive, 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 major, massive. major success for us over here. Um, so we played that one, and it was cool. Straight in the Damned and Dancing, which are other major, major, major successes. Mm -hmm. One of the big, one of the big themes to like our set list is that we we try to put in as many songs as we think people in a festival environment want to hear. So we we cater towards a lot of singles and like stuff like that. Can you do this? I'm not going to attempt it now with a microphone in, but here he is. Nothing changes. Yeah. Nothing ever changes with these boys. Been a band for, for a long time, and we're still learning new tricks. Definitely Jack, and I think everyone knows that. <laughs> uh, me, most likely. I'm late a lot, and I'm most I'm usually drunk. No, I'm definitely least for professional. Uh, there's, there's not a serious moment where I won't try to make it not so serious and crack some kind of joke and piss everyone off, so I'll take, I'll take Lee serious. Jack and Alex together. Um, uh, when they do interviews together, I'm sure you know this, mm -hmm. like a lot of times if it's me and Alex or me and Jack, it's kind of, you know, they are kind of funny and I kind of bring it down and be like, yeah, but the real answer is this. Dude, I've heard them do interviews together and they're like, so, you know, what was the inspiration for, um, you know, the song Guts seems to be really, like, written from deep in your heart. Uh, what's the inspiration? And five minutes later, just like, yeah, and then my dick! I love playing sports, American football, soccer, baseball, whatever we can do on the road. Uh, we, love, we love playing sports, which is not too common with band dudes. When I was in middle school, so when I was about 13 to 16, I was heavily into doing magic tricks with cards. I used to stand outside a movie theater and do magic tricks for tips. I'm an avid fisherman, uh, freshwater and saltwater. I love to cook. I'm a really I'm a decent cook. A lot of people, for some reason, don't expect that from me when I post pictures online of my cooking. Weightless was, is the song that I think kind of if someone were to ask me how to define All Time Low with one song, I would reference Weightless. Um, I think that's the one that's sort of like across the board, has a bit of everything that we do yeah. wrapped into one. Um, and it, you know, that was our sophomore record. You have a lot to prove with the second album and uh, that song kind of carried the weight. Hysteria in the dance hall. Can I get a disco? Yes. Um, a number of people that fly planes. A very specific number of people that fly planes. 21 pilots? Yes. Um, so it's another word for like the, I can't say the word, um, your, with, like your dentures that fall out when you're a little kid. Dairy. Uh, milk tooth? Multiple tooths. Milk teeth? Yeah. Um, 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 our favorite Japanese band. One Ok Rock? Yes. Um, it's, uh, the band was named because Billy smoked a lot of weed. Green Day? Yes. <laughs> Um, so, uh, like, you, if you go into the woods and you see a, they shit in the woods. Bear? bear yeah, feed? yes. <laughs> um, when the water comes up to your throat level, you, you are? Uh, neck deep? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's always like building Lego sets and like getting into activities. Love Legos. Yeah. Because it's not about what's on the instruction book. <laughs> it's... It's like, it's when you take all the sets apart and then make something with your imagination. Wild West meets Star Wars meets you can Jungle do that. theme. You can do that if you want. It's your imagination. Train car. Yeah. Ryan 
Ben definitely has the worst taste in music. He... If you, like, literally, you can't... He insists on listening to his iTunes playlist on shuffle, and he can't get, like, he skips 9 out of 10 songs before he settles on a song. And I keep saying to him, I'm like, dude, if you have to skip that many songs, there's something fucking wrong with your music library. Like, get some shit that you actually like. It's like, it's all ska, and like, Michael, Michael Bublé. <laughs> Worst taste in music, the guys would probably say me. I listen to a lot of uh, old school, like kind of like bad pop punk and ska music and all that, and they don't like that. But if it's asking me, I'm not gonna say myself. I'd say Alex because he just has like obscure noises on his iPod, like just ambient. I guess they're bands, but it's just like like whale sounds mixed with like lasers. And pew. I think dancing was probably I'd say the biggest budget we've ever had for a music video. It was yes. pretty insane. Um, being on set was kind of ridiculous. Like. It was huge. It's a massive soundstage in, in Hollywood, and it's uh, a real deal. We had a lot of fun shooting that because it was just us kind of just messing around, and like we had like a dude on motorcycles, like I was grinding on dudes, they're grinding on me. It was typical Saturday night. It was pretty wild. I mean, it was like obviously there's three phases to the video. It was the first time we worked with an actor too, which was kind of fun. Uh, the guy that plays sort of our, our record exec, who's forcing us to sell out, um, and. Uh, what was great, I think, was just like the, I love the spoofing of the other videos. A lot, plenty of people have done it. It's kind of a played out concept, but, um, you know, I think it worked out really well for us just because we got to have fun with it. And at the time, you know, dressing up in Gaga spandex felt good for us. It was nice. It was a sweaty day. It gave me an appreciation for girls who wear high heels because I couldn't walk for like three days after, after wearing those for three hours. Respect, ladies. Ultimate ambition. Wow. Um, it's so tough to say. I mean, if you would ask me that 10 years ago, or 15 years ago it would be to play in front of 50 people who know our music and you know now we're kind of doing that to a new level it's tough to I mean if I can keep doing this as my career for the next as many years as possible that's my ambition I mean I love playing drums I love touring around the world and there's no better feeling than seeing the music that you wrote you know being uh, sang back and being enjoyed by people all over the world nice skills immediate skills there we ah he got cocky he got cocky a duckman yeah, that's true. I want to dive in with the big news because last night you played at Slam Dunk brand new song in that set what? list. What? Yeah. What a tune, if I may Thank say. You. Seriously. Thank you uh, so get away much. green. Uh, what can you tell me about it first of all? How did that come together? Uh, I can tell you nothing about it. It's uh, so The song started because Alex was sneaking into my bedroom at night and I just okay. screamed get away green right. and he would have to. the hair. He saw the hair and, I and he wanted me all away I saw from was him. the hair and I was like get away that, green. That was his initial response he and I was like that's a cool lyric. <laughs> yeah. um, no, it's, uh, you know, we've, we've been quietly working on ideas and songs and, and things for a potential next album and um, we kind of don't really know when that album is going to be we don't know if this song is going to be on that album uh, or really anything we just sort of knew that we had this song and we felt like maybe it would be fun to you know drop it the way they used to drop it back in the day if I could just find the time and not another let another day go by I'm over 